of late I've been having conversations uh, with most uh, young people who are employed. Most have been, been complaining that uh, the kind of uh, income they are getting is maybe not commensurate with, uh, with uh, the kind of job they are doing. Um, uh, the uh, life has become very expensive and all that. But then when I ask them, okay, how much do you contribute to your company? You know, how, how, how effective are you? Are you sure hard when you are there at work or you're just there for the salary and all that? Then uh, I've also spoken to some few ex employers and most of them, they are not very satisfied with the kind of employees they have because they say most employees are just there for the salary and uh, they, they don't give their all. So today, I want to challenge you. If you want that promotion, if you want your income to be improved, you need to sit down and analyze what is it that you do for your company. Look at your 10 key areas which you are very good at, you know, and be honest. And if you know there is one area that you need maybe some improvement, note it down. Then also list some few things which you think that the company is not doing right or maybe it could get better, you know, it could be done better such that even the production or even the bottom line of the company is going to improve. Then approach your, your boss with that information and show a conscious decision that you are going to improve and to give your best. Your boss just wants somebody who can help him execute his uh, full mandate of whatever it is that he wants to achieve in life, you know. And you see, when you create those kind of partnership, when, when you show that you are a real owner of the company, that you're not just there for the salary, that it's, it's there in your blood, you know, that if it's logistics, you know about them, if, if it's uh, the suppliers, you know about them, you know even about your customers, you know about the products, you know what is happening in the industry. You know, your boss is so busy. Some of those small bits you might think they are not important are very important and they could help the company to grow. You know what? Yesterday I, we had uh, gone out with my family to eat in a new restaurant somewhere and you could see there was a lot of disappointment because uh, orders were taking too long to come through. And you know, I happened to have spoken to one of the employees and they told me that the kind of uh, employer employees the boss is, has been hiring are not the right ones. You know, you find the chef is not qualified, it's just a relative and all that. So he told me the boss does not uh, value professionalism. And you know, if like he had a professional chef, things could have flown better. You see, the boss maybe does not want to pay too much money. And you see, these are some of the things maybe you need to go and tell the boss. Maybe in a more clever manner, you, you can go and tell them, you know what, we can reduce the uh, waiting period here if we have this kind of a person here. Because you see, what will happen is that you're going to lose that job yourself if you don't tell your boss. Because tomorrow, if a disappointed cast customer came today, he won't be back there tomorrow, you know. So what we are saying is that... Uh, when you get a chance, when you get a window, make it a door. And once it's a door, make it a gate. Make yourself so indispensable. You understand? You listen to guys who even worked with uh, people like Steve Jobs. They started small. They started from uh, very clerks and all that. And now they are managers in those big companies because they gave it their all. So it's not just about the money. It's about what you can do for that company. So don't just complain get doing list it down go negotiate with your boss show your capacity show responsibility and things will be going for you cheers